Hi everybody, welcome to this transmission. I had a connection with Shima, who has recently come in as a new guide for me around Ascension art. And so I'm starting off with the initial message she came with and then an additional message around ascension that I asked for that's relevant to us right now in this collective upshift. And then at the end, I will share with you um, how a, a question and answer session that I had with her around the art and the figurine. She instructs me on what to put in the figurine. So if you're interested in energy art or transformative ascension art as she calls it um, and the training program with attunements you may be interested to listen to the section at the end there here we go in the higher aspects of self-realization there is an underlying need to participate consciously in the development of the permeability of those higher aspects of self to encapsulate and innovate and um, animate the being at the lower dimensional spectrums. I am here to assist in this process. My egg of higher consciousness, of enlightened consciousness, contains the cosmic colours of the higher spectral rays that deliver optimal wisdom, understanding and accessibility of the higher self in the higher dimensions which assist in your ascension process in the individual way that is needed for each being on the planet and this contributes to the higher plan and the accelerated access of the cosmic colors and the cosmic light codes as they permeate into the atmosphere of your dimensional paradigm that you exist in and gradually become more and more accessible as a threshold is attained of ability of each individual to access their own higher spectrums. This then paves the way in a demonstrable way for others to follow, but it also creates a higher field of consciousness at an energetic level and a resonance that creates an upshift that has momentum and carries forward with less effort required. I come with this egg of higher consciousness containing cosmic colours to assist you to disperse these frequencies through light language and physical products of books and artworks. Healing transmissions and messages and teaching processes in the highest light and love blessings to you
So, asking Shima for her message today that she wants to bring through. And this card from the Unveiling the Golden Age deck by Izzy Ivy um, is a tree that is suspended between heaven and earth there. You can see its roots going into the earth and its branches in the heavens and it's similar colours actually. It's all the fluorite colours, the cosmic colours. So Shima asked to be painted in the cosmic colours that um, are like fluorite. So they're, um, they all, these are fluorite, so they all um, merge together and um, flow together and they're quite transparent. And it's metallic paint so that it gives that sense of the etheric light emanating from it and through it. And the egg that she holds also is made of those cosmic colours and those cosmic colours are coming into our atmosphere. Um, the light workers are working with them and anchoring them into the earth. So you can see that coming down through the tree and anchoring into the earth um, and cleansing it, clearing it, uplifting it, upshifting it as part of the ascension process. So what this tree here is about in the deck, it's called the suspended one, which is like the hanged man in the tarot, where you're in a moment of pause, where you are reflecting and receiving, and in this particular card, integrating. You're integrating the higher light codes, um, the cosmic colours coming in and you're integrating them and going through and up-leveling and up-shifting and the upgrade. So while that's happening, we don't want to be making decisions and making pathways forward because the decisions that are going to be made from that place are different to what you would make from a lower perspective before you've shifted up. And when you're shifting up, you're receiving new gifts. Um, so what are some of the spiritual gifts you can receive? You can start to notice that you are telepathic, that you're hearing what people are thinking, that you're feeling them thinking about you that your ears prick up when you feel them thinking about you or talking about you. Um, you could suddenly start to get visions or communicate with guides in your sleep. These are all higher level gifts that come in when you upshift. And it will be different for everyone, depending on what your soul gifts are, what your soul's purpose is. And where, where you are on your journey. But wherever you are, there's an upshift happening to another level. And to fully receive that and integrate that, you need to rest. And you need to tune into those higher senses of listening. Listening to your physical body, listening to your soul. To know when it's time to rest and integrate. And when it's time to follow that inspiration that comes through. And that inspiration and that urge to action often comes with the gifts. So you get the tools, the resources, and then you get the urge to use them. And with the urge comes the wisdom on how to use them. But it's a period of, um, part of the period of integrating is about learning how to use those gifts and learning what things mean, learning what you're feeling, learning what the gifts are. Atayi, atokoyaya. Um... So the example it, from this transmission really is that I had an upshift over the 7-7 portal where I received um, attunement in my sleep, master attunement, where I now can uh, attune others to 
the modality that I've been learning from my guides and from my higher self around healing art and uh, using geometries and light codes in art and products to help with the ascension process, to help people with the ascension process and with their own healing and receiving their own gifts, aligning to their own purpose. And that came through. I then needed a lot of periods of resting and integrating and understanding what had come through on the other planes in my sleep. And as I integrated that, then I found myself making this figurine and I hadn't realized at that point consciously that I was creating my new guide that had come in to take me through uh, this, pr this process of anchoring and establishing this training program um, until I found that I was creating much more galactic kind of patterns and dresses than what I'd been creating before in the angelics when I was working more with the angelic energies wanting to come through an anchor. So then I tuned in, that is part of the um, creating this art is tuning in and listening to what's coming through and then transferring that into form. So as I listened, um, that's when Shima appeared um, and this is how she appeared in front of my eyes though I didn't visibly see her like through my third eye where you get a vision it was more a sense of colors or idea of colors um, and allowing my hands to just create what came through and then a, some channeled information from Shima about what she wanted to look like. So having connected to her around all of that, let's see what she has to say about this tree, this message that she wants to express. Hataya katoya akatia oya kaya toya kataya katasia ko. So you see those spirals in the tree and all the way down the tree. We have been working with bringing light codes via spiraling patterns that uplift the collective physiology and consciousness up to the next level. Atayoya tayaka, akatoya ya ya takaya tokuya ya, akatoya atiaka. The colors, as you say, are significant in terms of their potency and potential to uplift and upshift. Akatia yo ya tayaka, akatoya ya tayaka toya katakaya toya, akatoya taitia katoya ya ya yo tayaka. In the upshifting of the collective consciousness through the physiological changes in the body in response to light code activations, there are numerous um, up levelings and upshiftings that occur in micro granules. And what we mean by that is there is a greater upshift with many smaller parts upshifting independently within the whole. And these are all coordinated in an order for each individual that is of the best and easiest pathway for that individual. Inside of that, there are also individuals shifting independently at differing rates. 
but the overall collective upward shift is in a general band of upshifting. This upshifting is a key component of the current phase of ascension that is heightening the perspectives and conscious understanding of all involved. So those already at the forefront are receiving much more information than ever before and those at the tail end of upshifting exactly where they should be are gradually gaining the downflow of the frequencies in due course in divine timing which is bringing their level of consciousness higher but not at the level of the forerunners. These forerunners are accessing streams of consciousness that have never yet been achieved on this planet before. Akaya toya, akatia yoya taya, akatia yoya taya kaya, akatia yoya atia yoya taya to, akatia toya atia koya ta, akatia toya kaya ta. As the band broadens somewhat to because the forerunners are reaching such heights and the mainstream are shifting upwards but not at the same rate, there is a broadening of that band of consciousness yet the movement is always upward. Upward shifts have a momentum and there is a momentum that has been created that has a jet stream that pulls up the stragglers. As the earth is concurrently upshifting and the resonance therefore is higher there is no place for lower density consciousness and it cannot exist on the planet when the resonance does not match. Therefore, there is a an unconscious upshifting of all. We are here to assist with the upshift at all the individual and collective levels. And we thank you for your presence here. Blessings to you. So that was the transmission. I am going to go back now and share some of the initial question and answers that I had with Shima around the uh, purpose of bringing light codes into the art and where she actually brings some codes and downloads them into the bottom part of the dress there in the form of light language writing which she wants me to transcribe and a little bit about the training program and her role in that um, so here we go Shima can I ask um which part of the galaxy you're from and are you associated with the Galactic Council of Light? 
ina kocha tiaka ka tiaka tua tayaka. Thank you for asking me. I am feminine origin, and I am of a higher angelic spectrum that resides in the Pleiades. I have come as a representative of the light as requested by the Galactic Council of Light. I am honoured to assist you in your service work in the ascension of the earth. Blessings to you. Thank you, Shima. Thank you for being here. Can I ask you what colours you would like to be painted in in your figurine? The soft colours that you have been seeing in your mind's eye, they are the true colours of my garb and my gown. The soft fluorite colours are very resonant to my being and my frequency and the loving energies that I bring to you. The egg and my head are also resonant colours to that which you have created. You can soften these slightly more to give a sense of my true gentle loving essence. The light codes downloading now into my vessel are present always but will be activated with the light you will put inside ayatiaka okachatiaka akatayayaya you are seeing light language symbols these symbols can be written on the pattern at the base of the dress at the front ayakatoya Ishatiaka kato. I am downloading those light codes fully now so that you can access them in your dimension and write them onto the vessel. Ayatiaka Ayatiaka toyaka Akatiaka toyata Akayatoya yaya Okoyaya Akoya ya tia ya 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 taka to ya tia. Aya ya ya taka to koko. Akatia ya ya taka koto kotia ya taka tia toka. Akataya ya taya yo yo. Atatia ya 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 yo. Aya tia ka. Ashatoko taya. Ashatiko taya tia la toka tia. Akatia to ya la taka ya to. Akatoya taya la katoko toya ya. Akatoya ya ya taka toka chia la toko. Akatatia toya taka tia ta. Akatatoya katia chia toko kocha tia kaka cho la kato. Akatatia kato taya taka. Akatoya tala katoko taya kaka toya tia tupoko taya tia kata. Alalatia kato, alalatia ya to ta tia to kata katia ta, o cha kata ka, o suku tuku to kaya ta ka kata ya ta ka ka, o tia ta ni ana nuku na kani kana kana nuku da di kana ka, ija ta kata ta ta, o suku kuto kuku kota ya ya, o ta na 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 ni ana kana. Atanani and Nana Kanokana, Nina Nana Nina Kanokanaka Akatoyata Akatayaka 
Kosh Atakaya Ya Okatoya Tayaka Tayaka Inaka no Kuno Yanaka Naka Nina Naka no Nanana Nanana Nina Naka Tia Tota Tata Isisisisi Thank you. And what is the benefit of having these codes downloaded into these artworks? Atayakaka. These codes form a physical anchoring point as well as a point of reference for the receiver to access those codes. It is similar to a portal or a healing crystal where you specifically go to call on those energies whilst they are always available there in that space and can be received unconsciously by you uh, when your spirit is calling them. The point of having these portals or these vessels in your environment is that your spirit can access those through the physical dimensions in a more facilitated, easier way, whilst the conscious mind can actively also bring through those energies and seek them out. It also serves as a reminder and assists in the higher self and the guides and angels to send messages and reminders with a specific understanding. For example, signs and synchronicities. It can enable another point of reference and messaging as a reminder that can be given when those energies are required. Thank you. And do I, are you helping with the downloading of and structuring of the energy art course that I am currently constructing. It's in progress, but I'm constructing it into a modality with attunements. Are you part of that process? Akatiaka. Yes, I am. I am here to assist with that process. And my heart is so expanded to be part of this process with you. We have delivered light codes in your sleep that you are consciously aware of receiving to enable attunements to activate many, many light workers into this creational work which enables high vibrational portals of energy in people's homes and in their life for them to consciously and unconsciously work with. We are very grateful for your role in this higher purpose. Thank you just feeling a com communion, non-verbal communion and um, an anchoring through the Hara point and the sacral chakra down into the earth grids. I've known for quite some time, about 15 years, that I was going to be creating this art into a modality and I've spent 15 years learning about how it works and um, over the last year I have been on Patreon teaching energy art 
in live workshops and I've now just had the go ahead at the same time as Shima has arrived um, about how to structure it. Um, I'm getting clarity on how to structure it as a proper training program on how to not only bring these ascension energies and higher energies and tensions into artworks but how to use them in configurations um, for specific healing purposes and ascension purposes so thank you Shima and what should this modality be called how how should it be understood what is the best way for people to relate to it and understand it uh, tayaka toyaka Transformative Ascension Art There is a means of disseminating this information whereby the artist can create threads and streams of consciousness energetically that creates the understanding for the recipients of their artworks and for the main stream people to understand the potency and effects of these creations that are being disseminated through the current paradigm on earth and assisting with the ascension. The name of the modality will enable more understanding that consciously connects to those invisible frequency threads atayakato there are six people currently looking for and seeking out this modality that will soon find your training program they are ready for it as are you blessings to you so that's all I have to share for now from Shima um, thank you for listening to the end there will be more from Shima there will definitely be more um, coming about the transformative ascension art and the associated training programs I develop it uh, I'll put links down below uh, there is currently on Patreon some live workshops and what I'm doing over there will be forming the foundation of the training program if you um, are keen to get involved at the onset so um, take care and I'll see you next time.